Alright, hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about how to make some really good and efficient one tap configs. The reason why I chose one tap before all of my other cheats that I have or currently own is basically because it was the first proper HA cheat I actually used. I know, right? But yeah, we'll start off with one tap and I'll probably make this a series because every cheat is probably different and yeah, I want to explore all of the cheats. So let's start off by explaining one tap features because without them you can't really make a config so minimum damage is basically what the minimum damage the cheat will shoot for hitboxes target hitboxes multi-point hitboxes if you want to enable multi-point for those hitboxes now what is multi-point it basically enables you to shoot the edge of a hitbox accuracy hit chance is basically the minimum hit chance the cheat will shoot for auto scope basically scope in snipers like let's say the op and everything else auto stop is basically automatically stop the cheat to increase your hit chance modifiers you have duck will basically duck once the auto stop enables early basically it will stop you earlier if the cheat decides that it can shoot it before you can actually shoot him it's basically predicting if the cheat can shoot in the future all of these are self-explanatory between shots as well, force accuracy will basically maximize your movement speed while giving you the most accuracy it can. Overrides, minimum damage override, this basically overrides your minimum damage set to here once you press a button. And hitbox override key is basically low rise the hitboxes set in targets to this what you said here. Now you set the keybinds here and let's talk about the keybinds. So we have force body aim, naturally, force is body aim, force save point, naturally, force is save point. And what is save point? It's basically, let's say, it basically makes your cheat not able to miss. And if it does, it's not really that good. Damage override, it basically rides your damage and hitbox override. Let's go with hide exploits. Hide shots, hides your shots. Double tap, basically enables double tap. Let's start up with double tap options. Instant double tap is self explanatory. Instantaneously decharges it. Teleport stop basically makes you somewhat unhittable when you're trying to auto stop and shoot enemies for lower min damage. Fast reload is self explanatory. Breaking light compensation makes you harder to hit when you're fully running. And set by choke makes you able to fake like while double tapping. Leg peak basically makes you peak with leg and makes you somewhat unhittable. Fake flick makes your fake flick, although this feature is rarely used. And time. But yeah, let's start off with making a config. Let's go into a map. I recommend getting a map where you can choose if you want to have one bot or more bots so we can create some good visuals. Alright. Let's start off by making our visuals. So, let's first off start off with ESP. I don't really like to use boxes because I think they're kind of ugly and everything else is pretty cool. So, how do you go on about making some really clean visuals? Well, I recommend grabbing yourself a palette, a color palette, basically. A color palette makes it a lot easier for you to choose what colors you want in your cheat. Let's start off. I mean, some, some sign and disable it for now. Force body aim, I like to keep it close. Force body aim. I like to put them draw right, then in box or right on mouse 4 and on mouse 5. So, let's start off with the targets and let's start off with weapons. So, you're probably wondering. What is the minimum damage I need to choose for every weapon or any weapon? I basically recommend choosing a wiki, a CSGO wiki to show what kind of minimum damage you want to do. So let's say you want to hit for chest with the USB. You basically go on the knife on the CSGO wiki, choose the USPS and check what's the minimum damage for chest and basically put one plus that. So it says armor is 17, we basically put in 18. And if you want to go for head, 
we put down 23 which is basically damage plus one but we're making a body config right now so let's stick with this hitboxes i recommend you shoot every last single hitbox multipoint i recommend multipointing head chest and stomach and of course lower chest and pelvis don't multipoint upper chest because there's a huge dc there for head point scale and body point scale you can really keep it on dynamic but if you want to hit more of the edge or shoot faster i recommend you put head point scale to 65 which is basically a staple i choose with every cheat same goes with body scale 65 is a really good multi point but yeah i'll basically configure every weapon right now and yeah, i'll see you once i'm done configuring the minimum damage and hitboxes and of course multi point for every weapon all right guys now that i've set up basically every every weapon for the minimum damage and the targeting i would like to explain there are some exceptions to this for example the op 100 min damage no matter what we of course put a lower head point skill than a body skill because we want to hit the body before we hit the head or try to resolve the head the head has a higher desync so so basically the head is a little bit harder to hit for most resolvers which is why we want with the op to shoot the body so then we have the scout basically it is also pretty good that you enable feet hitboxes since we will be using mill all of them in damage override scar i recommend you disable the chest and upper chest area and only multi-point stomach and pelvis leg fin that's basically it also put the higher multi-point on body with the g3gs then there are some exceptions with the shotguns basically they do damage per pellet so what you want to do is divide the damage on chest by the amount of pellets they shoot and then add one min damage to the divided amount and that's basically how you do minimum damage now for accuracy all the pistols have a 30 percent hit chance of course for auto stop we want early between shots and force accuracy or i wouldn't really recommend between shots same goes for the rest of the pistols all right guys now we're at the deagle the minimum hit chance for the deagle is good between 50 and 60 i prefer 50 that's the fast shoot the revolver also between 50 and 60 for smgs it's the same as the pistols 30 percent hit chance all right for rifles it's recommended from 35 to 40 for the op, it's recommended between 80 and 85. For the scout, it's recommended from 70 to 95. For the autos, it's recommended from 50 to 65. For an AGF, it's recommended a really low one like 17. For the M249, 30. For the shotgun, it's recommended about 10 to 15. Now let's talk auto stop modifiers for the revolver. Early, force accuracy between shots. We want to prefer save point. And for the dualies, it's basically the same as the rest of the pistols. Alright, for the Mac 10, it is not recommended to use between shots. Same goes for all the rest of the SMGs. All right, now we're at the rifles. Same shit as the SMGs. All right, on the op, we want between shots. No force accuracy though. For the scar, we want early and force accuracy. No in between shots. For an egg, if the same as the SMGs. Now we're on the shotguns. What you want for the shotguns is early and between shots. Alright, good. We basically set up the hardest part of the CFG. Now we go to the overrides. 
the reason why we went for the plus one min damage on the chest is because we're going to set the minimum damage to one on every weapon the override key to head now all you need to do is do this for every single weapon so let's do it Alright, awesome. Now we're at the exploits. We want to enable both of them and enable instant double tap, teleport, stop. Basically, we enable everything except the fake clip. Speed, we put in fast. Keys, I recommend assigning them to keys you can easily access. Now on the end time, being accurate, left direction somewhere close, A direction on alt, slow walk on shift, and fake tuck on C. Directions. Of course at target and manual, inner mode of course normal. Fake, you want to enable everything. Fake lag limit, 14 ticks, 14 ticks, triggers, basically everything. Alright everyone, thank you for sticking around to me till the very end. Basically, I'm going to read how hard it was to fucking configure this cheat. I'm basically gonna give it a fucking 7 out of 10. Thing is, the cheat it has loads of features to offer but it's very hard to configure it since there's fucking sliders and basically it's very tiring since the hitboxes and multipoints and basically everything doesn't get saved from the general shit you put in nice one one tap nice one but yeah the cheat's pretty good but yeah i'll be also releasing a good grenade helper along with my configs that i'm going to be making and I'm going to be making also the head config and the ultra mega epic super duper mega fucking duper super ultra mega epic body aim config with this shit and posting it live on my discord and on the video when this shit comes out I will also be streaming the gameplay with one tap tonight hopefully if I don't die I'll kick W so I'll see you guys there